Here we have the convertible top hydraulic system laid out for the 355 Spider. Pretty much the way top hydraulics ships it to you. That is the pump or electrohydraulic uh, control unit with all four cylinders and the solenoid valve block and all the 11 uh, connecting hoses completely filled with flu fluid. So this is ready to swap in one piece. Uh, what do we have here? The pump itself obviously has an electric motor and the reservoir with fluid and the changeover valve on top. We have the right main lift cylinder, we have the right secondary cylinder, we have the solenoid valve block that has um, an electric solenoid for uh, directing flow to the various cylinders and we have the left hand main lift cylinder, left hand secondary cylinder. The secondary cylinders move the um, front portion of the top or um, as uh, insiders call it, move the first bow and uh, the main lift cylinders uh, lift the uh, rear of the top up or lower it down again. Um, interestingly enough, the uh, main lift cylinders will be lifting the top when the shaft retracts, whereas they lower it when the shaft extends. Whereas the um, secondary cylinders, as their shafts extend, they um, move the front of the top or the first bow forward. Now how does this whole thing work? We have the pump that uh, produces about 195 bar in one direction with a motor turning in one direction. It produces about 150 bar with a motor turning in the other direction. And uh, the computer will uh, direct the pump to either turn one way or the other. And uh, depending on the top's position, this electro um, hydraulic solenoid valve will then uh, basically engage the secondary cylinders once needed. And um, the interesting thing about the main lift cylinders is that you actually have the fluid coming from the pump going to one end of the main lift cylinder, then exhaust of the going into the one end of the um, left main lift cylinder then the exhaust from that uh, cylinder or expelled fluid from that cylinder goes to the uh, shaft end of the right hand cylinder and uh, this way these cylinders move simultaneously but the um, changeover valve um, will buffer any problems inside the frame. If anything gets uh, stuck, there is a 110 bar and yet another 80 bar uh, release valve and buffer inside this valve block that um, helps in case there are unexpected or unwanted problems in the top's frame. And it is this valve block that um, partially makes it difficult to vent the system if you have a whole lot of air in it. We're not going to get into the um, venting procedure. Venting is fairly easy if you have only a little bit of uh, air in the system, but once you have a lot of air in the system, it um, turns into a big problem. Now what goes wrong on these parts? The pump can have a number of failure mechanisms. Of course, the electric motor can go bad, but that will happen only if the pump has been badly abused. Um, the main failure for this pump is it's simply wearing out or having had the wrong fluid in it and the fluid damaging internal valves or the sludge in the pump damaging internal valves or the sludge wearing out the um, pistons in the pump or um, we can also have bearings going bad and internal seals. So there's a number of things. The pump is a tad more complicated than it appears at first sight. There are two pressure relief valves in it, one on the side of the unit and one on the bottom of the um, changeover valve block. On the cylinders, the failure mechanism is really simple. That is the original uh, seals in them are Teflon seals that have um, 
an O-ring energizer behind them and um, typically the energizer wears out and uh, that makes the Teflon wear unevenly and also of course the worn out energizer um, will leak on you. Top Hydraulics upgrades these seals to a material that uh, retains its memory a lot longer and we expect our rebuilds to last somewhere between 30 and 50 years. Uh, as you can see, we uh, machine these cylinders open and we install whole new uh, stainless glands to accommodate these uh, upgraded seals. And you can see on the secondary cylinder here how um, these machine parts are not exactly trivial to machine as they're not completely round. Um, the other thing that will fail on all 355s eventually are the hoses. The original hoses uh, were supplied, unfortunately, as some others in that period as well, with an outer jacket that um, disintegrates with time. Let me uh, show you a couple hoses as samples uh, what happens here. Here is one of these hoses where the out outer jacket just starts disintegrating and you have just a few uh, black crumbles around. Um, eventually the crumbling gets to be really bad. You have only a few crumbles left and all this uh, white jacket exposed. Once this white jacket is exposed, there is more room for the inner tube to expand and the hose will eventually pop off the fitting, which creates a big mess uh, aside from the big mess that you already get from all the plastic parts crumbling. There is no way around uh, replacing these hoses eventually. Same as on the cylinders, they will eventually fail and uh, unfortunately also the pump will eventually fail. So in general the smart move is to replace the whole system in one go uh, because uh, you avoid the headache of doing parts one by one and going through all the labor many times over as opposed to doing it right once and uh, just getting it done in one wash. If you have replacement parts in hand, you can get the job done in a day. Now, let me show you on top hydraulics hoses what is different. If you look closely, um, these hoses are smaller in diameter than the original ones. You can see here. Um, there is about five millimeters OD on our hoses where the original ones are closer to 10, about nine millimeters. Plenty of flow through the hoses. It does not show, uh, slow down your top movement, but uh, our hoses are rated for a um, operation pressure of about 30,000 PSI, um, whereas the original ones were made for 3,000 PSI or 200 bar. Um, so you have a true upgrade here that is easier to install. And the whole thing, even though parts are not available from Ferrari anymore, the whole uh, system sells for a fraction of what just the pump uh, would have sold for recently when it was still available.